Hello everyone and welcome back to Chasing the Dollar. A big night at Wentworth Park last Saturday night. Uh, Jeff Collison with the National Derby. Yeah, wonderful win by Fernando Bale who was hammered going into the first turn. I had a bit of luck at the first turn but it was a super win and Zipping Midge won the Futurity in the fastest time ever run in a National Futurity at Wentworth Park. Yeah, you tipped us strongly into two of us a check as well. Hopefully uh, we gain some advantage along the way. Well, this Saturday night, it's Valentine's night ladies and gentlemen. Where would you rather be? Wentworth Park, that's for sure. We're going to win a few bucks to take some roses, roses home to our loved ones. Well, it's my birthday on Saturday and oh. I'll, I'll be at Wentworth Park. I won't be anywhere else. Well, it's a double celebration. <laughs> there you go. Let's get into it. Uh, first leg of the Quaddy Race 5, Macro meets Gourmet Game Stakes. 720 metres the journey. Bessie Boo, uh, suitably drawn, will be well fancy. Oh, fabulously drawn because Miss Fiction in box two walks out of the boxes. Now, smooth number ran down Bessie Boo on January 31 in 42.46, but that was Bessie Boo's first 700 for a long while she's since come out and run 42 45 i think she'll be able to uh, lead uh, and win this time ahead of S smooth number who uh, has got a very good draw again very consistent greyhound Look, uh, but don't leave out folk tales number six uh, she drops way out early but she was getting to the line nicely here last week only ran six but that was in a 520 she'll be the one they'll have to hold off Three different hopes. Uh, my numbers are 3164 in the first leg of the quarter. Yeah, well, folk tales are 42-33 winner here at Wentworth Park, so a definite chance as well. That's the first leg of the quaddy. The second leg of the quaddy at Wentworth Park on Saturday night, the ladbrokes.com.au sprint series heat. It is over the 520. A little bit open this one. A scratching here of number seven, someone great. Opus Forte should only have to begin to win from box two. Uh, he was beaten a long way by Rare Pearl here last week, but it's worth remembering Rare Pearl uh, clock 29.69, which was faster time than they ran in either the Derby or the Futurity. So I think Opus Forte, if he steps, he's nicely drawn. He has run... 29.72 at Wentworth Park. He's the only greyhound in the race who has broken 30 at the track. Stuart Town, very consistent, beautifully drawn in the one. He'll be up near the lead all the way. He's the obvious danger, but I think Opus Forte will win. My number's 2146 in the second leg of the quaddy. Third leg of the quaddy here, Jeff. We'll have the shortest price favourite of the night, Richard Hattie, currently pre post around the $1.60 mark. This is the happy birthday Nathan Stakes. So it's Nathan's birthday, Jeff's birthday, <laughs> Valentine's Day, celebrations all round. How about we celebrate with a winner? Impossible to go past Richard Hattie. I think you'll get a little bit better than 160 on course, uh, but she's uh, a 29.70, uh, sorry, a 29.47 yeah. performance here uh, under her belt. She's far away, far and away the quickest Wentworth Park Greyhound uh, in the field. Now, last week when she won, uh, Zipping Abbey took a fair bit of ground off her uh, in the run home. Probably would have beaten Z uh, Ritza Hattie in another couple of strides. But Ritza Hattie was a fraction underdone last week. She'll definitely strip uh, fitter this week. Jeff's 118, ra 118 races, one off box number oh, eight and fast time at Gosford and also five at Winnie. Goes into box one. How better, off, suit? better off in box one, I'll guarantee Perfect. you. That's her box. La Grand Logue, he's got terrific early pace in box four. He had this box last week and he led before being run down by Corborn Revit, his first run from a spell. I think he'll lead again, but I think Richard Hattie will run him down. My numbers are 1426. Race 8, the final leg of the Quadrilla, labrokes.com.au Sprint Series Heat. A bit of an open race and uh, not a hard race to win. Velvet Flame, I like uh, her. recent performances haven't been so strong, oh, but looking run, good here. The run was good last week, uh, Dale. She had box, uh, a wide box, had box 8 last week. She worked her way across from box 8. She was a close third on the home turn and looked like she might figure in the finish and got a little knock and then faded. This is an easier race. She's much better suited drawn inside from box 3. Uh, I think she She'll win if, if she leads. She'll win for sure, yeah. and she doesn't have to lead to win. Not a lot of she, pace underneath it. Also. She's a pretty smart bitch, Velvet Flame, and her uh, trainer uh, Andrew Bayless is on fire at the moment. I'm tipping Swan Mavis for second, number one. Best had, box it's had for some time. Well, too, yeah, has won two out of five from uh, wearing the red rug. Yep. Uh, has a race at Wentworth Park for four months, uh, but it's definitely the danger to Velvet Flame. But I think race fitness, Velvet Flame might have the edge. I'm going three, one, four, five. All right, that's the final leg of the Quadrilla. It is. It's time for our best bet and best value. Who's the best on the night? Uh, best bet, well, hard to go past Priceless. Race uh, three, uh, box one in race uh, three. Beautifully drawn. My best value bet, Lemon Tree Girl. 
Bell, race 10, number four. All right, so we've got our quaddy selections. Let's rehash what multiples we are going to take. Yeah, I'm going to take uh, three in the first leg, three, one and six. The second leg of the quaddy, I'm taking two, one, four. I'll just take the two greyhounds in the third leg, uh, Ritza Hattie and La Grand Logie, one and four. And in the fourth leg of the quaddy, I'm going to plump for three, one and four. All right, three, one and four in that last leg of the quadrilla. So there it is, ladies and gentlemen. Have a great Valentine's night. Happy birthday to Jeff. Plenty of winners along the way. Thanks, Jeff. Thanks, Dale. Cheers, everyone. See you next week on Chasing the Dollar.